Hi class, welcome to 5-2 Notes, where we're going to be solving equations with variables on both sides of the fence, so to speak. Um, all of our rules still apply. The golden rule of algebra, whatever we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other. Our goal is to solve for x. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is take everything that has an x over to one side, and I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides of this equation because that way I have my number that does not have an x on one side and when I say 7x minus 5x I have 2x left with just my x on the other side. Now that's a simple one step equation from there. Divide both sides by 2 and x is 2. So when I take my time to check that 7 times 2 it doesn't look like it's going to work at first. But if you keep sticking with it, 7 times 2 is 14, and 5 times 2 is 10 plus 14, I mean 10 plus 4, we find out that we do end up with 14 equals 14. So it does check out after all. So notice I'm trying to get all my x's on one side, all of my numbers without x on the other. Sort of like um, taking a fence and, and dividing them up. So here I have a number with an x and without an x. And on the other side of the fence, a number with an x and without an x. So the first thing I'm going to do is take care of my x and subtract it from both sides. My pen doesn't want to write well today. So that cancels out, and I have 2x minus 2 equals 4. Now I need to get the number without x over to the right. So that's a negative 2, the opposite of subtracting 2, or the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. That lets the 2 cancel out, and 2x equals 6. Now to solve for x, we'll divide both sides by 2. That isolates x, and we find out that x is 3. We always want to take time to check, so we make sure we did our problem correctly. Two, uh, 3 times 3 is 9, minus 2. Does that equal 2 plus 4, which is 6? And that does not. 3 times 3 is 9. And oh, it's supposed to be 3 plus 4. See, I made a mistake right there. That should be a 3. Thank goodness. 3 is what I'm plugging back in for x. 3 plus 4 is 7. And that is what we need. We need 7 to equal 7. So see how that works? If you make a mistake, you either know you've made a mistake in your original work, or look, I made a mistake when I was plugging in my value for x. I used 2 instead of 3. So 9 minus 2 is 7, and 3 plus 4 is 7, and so that all checks out. Um, so that I don't have to move my screen, I'm going to jump over here to the right and work example 6 for you. Again, we need to subtract 2x from both sides. I'm trying to get all my x's to the left. It doesn't really matter if you go left or right, but I'm bringing my x's to the left. So 5x, bring down your plus 3 equals 23, because I canceled out and made that 0. Now I want to take 3 to the other side. I'm going to subtract 3, keeping everything balanced, doing the same thing to both sides of our equation. So 5x equals 20. Now we all know to undo multiplication, we're going to divide by 5. x equals 4. At least I hope that's the answer. 7, and in parentheses I'm going to plug in my 4 plus 3. Does that equal 2 times 4 plus 23? So 7 times 4, that's 28 plus 3. And that'll be 8. 8 plus 23, and that's going to give us 31, and that gives us 31, cha-ching, it does check out. And as with all math, it's going to not come to us in an equation, it's going to come to us in words, and here's an example of how you would use two variables um, on both sides of an equation in a word problem. A cruise company charges $85 per day plus a one-time fee of $75 for tax and tips. Now there's a different company that charges $100 per day plus a fee, I think that's supposed to say fee, of $30. 
write and solve an equation to determine for what number of days the charges would be the same. The charges would be what? The same, the same is the same thing as saying they would be equal. So we have two different cruise companies. They're each charging a per day fee. So we'll let D stand for the number of days. And let's see how it goes. The first company, it's $85 uh, per day times the days plus a one-time fee of $75. And we want that to equal our other company. That's what we're checking for when they're the same, when they're equal. And they charged $100 per day. Same amount of days. We're looking to see how many days would make them equal um, plus the $30 one-time fee. So now we're ready to solve a two-step equation, or not a two-step, excuse me, an equation where we have variables on both sides. So I am going to do something different this time. I'm going to subtract 85. And I know you're probably thinking, wait a minute, you've been subtracting the variable, bringing them all to the left. Think about it. Why did I subtract 85 and bring all the variables to the right? At the bottom of this page, I want you to write your answer. Now my 85D cancels out. 75 equals 15D plus 30. And now I'm going to subtract 30 from both sides. So again, my variable is staying on the right. 15D equals 45. And hopefully we all know how to finish solving that equation. Divide by 15, divide by 15, and we find out that D should equal what? 3? So it's 3 days. So after 3 days, it won't matter which cruise you take, they'll be equal after 3 days. So if you're only going to go on a 2-day cruise, you need to look for the better bargain, but after three days, they're going to be equivalent. And that's how you set up a two-equation problem with equations on both sides of, or excuse me, with variables on both sides of the equation. All right, I want you to finish three, four, and eight for your own personal practice, and five. And then down here at the bottom, I want you to write for me, why do you think that I subtracted uh, 85 from both sides rather than subtracting 100 from both sides. Give me your best guess as to why I thought that was uh, a smarter move. And um, I look forward to seeing you in class tomorrow. We'll work a lot more of these types of problems. Thank you and have a great day.